take up your cross and follow him. Hey, but wait a minute. I don't know I'm going to be resurrected three days later. I can't do all those miracles. He had an unfair advantage. So how can you ask us to follow the example of Christ? But supposing he didn't have an unfair advantage. Supposing that what was true about Jesus as a son of God is true of us. Only a few of us know it. And we are pretty careful to be quiet about it. Lest the same thing happen to us as happened to Jesus. <laughs> and indeed it often does. And you know you get these people from... Arkansas or uh, Texas or uh, anywhere in the Bible Belt who never heard of the Upanishads and they have this cosmic consciousness experience and they realize that that's what happened to Jesus and they say, I'm Jesus, come back. Well, everybody says to them, you aren't Jesus. It's pretty obvious you're not Jesus. You're just Joe Dukes. He says that's what they said about Jesus. <laughs> he has a perfect argument except they say you're not much of a Jesus. They say, uh, all right, if you're Jesus, command that these stones be made bread and he says a wicked and deceitful generation seeketh for a sign and there shall no sign be given now why talk about this is it interesting is it important for the human being to realize that in some sense of the word whatever it means he is God or one with God Hello, welcome back to the channel Darkness to Christ. Today's video, I'm going to be explaining why Jesus and Christianity and Christians are the enemy of Christ and the followers of Christ. Okay, now since I was born again spiritually and I've got to know the truth of Christ and studied Christianity and all the religions and put together a picture of how it all works, I understand now that Christians really do not represent Christ and that even Jesus or this, this idea of Jesus is false and is a lie. And I'm going to go through 10 reasons uh, to show the difference between the truth of Christ and the falsity of Jesus. Let's get into it. Number one, uh, Jesus, who Christians worship, is false, and that is idolatry. Whereas Christ, if we follow Christ, who is in Jesus, but also the Christ within us, then that is the truth. Okay, so when we're born again and we follow the Christ inside, which is connected to God, and was inside of uh, Jesus, that's correct. But when you worship the man of Jesus, who is God or son of God in the flesh, all that stuff, that is idolatry. And that is not the truth. Okay, the second reason Jesus died for our sins is a false teachings. Whereas the truth is Jesus taught that we must be born again spiritually to overcome the sinful world. See, the problem with Jesus dying for our sins to save us from hell, all that nonsense, is it doesn't change people. And Christians have the perfect excuse to carry on sinning and not changing. They say, oh, well, Jesus died for my sins, so I can carry on lusting and committing adultery and stealing, lying, deceiving. But Jesus died for my sins, so I've got my get out of jail free card. That's not what Jesus wanted. That's not what Jesus taught. What Jesus taught was to be born again spiritually and become perfect and overcome your sin. So there's a much harder process and it requires a lot of work because you have to give up all your bad habits. You have to give up your sexual sin. You have to give up um, your lying, your deceiving, your lusts, uh, your gluttony, your hatred, your ignorance. You have to give up and you have to change, which takes work. And um, that is the truth of how you can follow Christ. The third reason is that Jesus, Christianity and the Bible is the written word of God. Whereas Christ is the wordless word of God within. It's the conscience, the spirit that guides you rather than the written word by men who have uh, not truly understood the truth. Whilst there is a lot of truth in the New Testament, it is not something that can be trusted unless it's revealed to the Christ inside of you. And it makes sense from an understanding. So you actually understand it rather than just read it and repeat it like a robot, as most Christians do. OK, number four, Jesus healed the physically blind and did miracles, whereas Christ healed the spiritually blind. Again, another misconception, Jesus went around healing the blind. What that really was is most likely was a analogy for how Jesus healed the 
spiritually blind. Like I, I understand it now because I understand that I can now that I can see, I understand that I was spiritually blind. And I was healed by spiritual masters and by Christ's teachings to heal me of my blindness. And if you want proof of that, uh, Jesus also accuses the Pharisees of being blind when they're having a go at him for healing the blind man. Now, obviously, we know the Pharisees weren't blind, but obviously it matches up to the analogy that uh, he was healing the spiritually blind, not the physically blind. Okay, Number five, Jesus was the Jewish Messiah that they were waiting for which is false, whereas the truth is that Christ revealed the personal Messiah or revealed God or revealed the spirit. See, the Christ is the spirit within, the Christ that was within Jesus and that Christ that was in is within all of us. And it's a personal revelation. And the goal is to awaken the Messiah within ourselves. And then we bring the Messiah into the world rather than just looking to a man to do everything for us. Because if you think about it, if the Messiah did come back now, or, excuse me, what's better? Is it better that everybody activates the God within them, or we all just live like degenerates, don't activate the Christ within us, but we wait for just one Messiah to turn up and do all the work for us? But ultimately, if that did happen, the people would be so degenerate that they would reject the Messiah. So that doesn't make any sense. We have to do the work, reveal the Messiah within us, and bring God's love into the world. Okay, number six, in Jesus and Christianity, it is men following men, where in the truth is Christ follow Christ. So now I am born again in Christ. I follow the Christ that was in Jesus and that was taught through Jesus, whereas the Bible is more becoming uh, a man-made idea of Jesus and his teachings taught by men throughout time, pastors and priests. So it's just men intellectually teaching other men, whereas when I understand Christ, I understand his teachings and they're revealed to the Christ within me. OK, it's an understanding, a spiritual understanding, not an intellectual understanding. And that's how God works. He reveals things through us, through our spirit and through the spirit of Christ. OK, number seven, Jesus was physically resurrected, whereas the truth is that Christ was spiritually resurrected. Now, obviously, no, we, didn't, we know the story that Jesus Christ died, but on the third day was risen and they saw him fly up in the air. I believe that was all just legend and made up stories. But I do believe that obviously the Christ within risen because the spirits will always return home. And um, that's why Jesus taught us we must be reborn spiritually to have everlasting life because our ego and our flesh goes to the dirt. But when we're reborn spiritually and we realize, oh, I'm actually a spirit made in the image of God. Okay, we're made in the image of God, who is a spirit. We are spirits. We're not flesh. And we don't fly up in the air when we die or we're not going into the grave to rot for a thousand years and then get resurrected at the end of time. That's all a load of nonsense that was man made. We're spiritual beings. And when we're done on a journey in this world, we'll uh, spiritually resurrect and return home. And this is proven by thousands of near death experiences that I've studied where However, they've died, they've flown up out the body and they're saying, I was looking down at my body, but I'm still me and my body was just an empty vessel. And that proves that we're not our physical bodies. We're the spirit and we're the awareness within. Okay, number eight. And the final point is that Jesus and the Christianity is all part of the Christian establishment, whereas Christ is actually an enemy of religion. And if you just look at it, it was the religious people who killed Christ because he was upsetting their religion and their traditions. He was basically saying, you've become dead. The religion is dead. You don't have the spirit of God inside of you. You need to be born again spiritually. You're blind. Whereas the Christians, the Jews, the religious people, or it's better to say the religious people, they're the ones who didn't like that. They were prideful. They're like, yes, we're, we're, we're special or we're... We're religious intellectuals. We're we're above everyone else. Whereas they were just total dummies. They weren't spiritually reborn. They didn't have uh, the, the the grace of God within them and the humbleness of being a child of God. So that's my eight points explaining why Jesus is the enemy of Christ. And obviously, this is the Christian man-made version of Jesus rather than the truth of Christ. And I think it is a very important message because I'm starting to see more and more people. Uh, turn to Christianity rather than turning to Christ. And uh, a lot of times, a lot of nefarious characters going on about Jesus. I see it on Twitter. I see it on YouTube. I see it in politics. 
And they're using this man-made Christian idea to suit their political need. Or they're saying, we're a Christian country. We support Jesus. But they don't know Christ. They don't have any grace. They're actually pretty nasty people. They very much live sinful lives. And um, I end up arguing with some of these people. Um, and they're very nefarious characters. And we need to make sure that Christ and his followers stand up against the fake Christians and the fake idea of Christianity. And um, I encourage people to leave Christianity, leave religion, or at least if you're going to be a part of it, promote the spiritual and the true teachings, which is what Christ came to bring and what I have laid out in this video. So if you agree with what I'm saying or if you disagree and you want to comment, comment below. If you like the content, like the video and subscribe for more and God bless everyone. Goodbye.